Placing a 3D text in a real video has become an easy task with the introduction of the 3D camera tracker a few years ago. The tool analyzes the footage and creates the tracking points that you can select and then create a text layer. Depending on how well the video has been analyzed, the text will always stay at the same position, even if the camera pans somewhere else. The tracker will also analyze image or lens distortion and the place text will have the same distortion, which is useful when the captured video was shot with a wide angle lens. The time warp effect is a tool that allows you to speed up and slow down a clip smoothly. The speed can be set in percent, for example 50 is half speed and 200 is twice the normal speed. Time warp can be used to create the popular bullet time effect because it's easy to switch between slow motion and fast motion. All you have to do is set keyframes with different speeds and after effects will adjust the speed change. To avoid a stutter look, the effect includes a motion blur effect to create a really smooth look and transition. After Effects has all kinds of motion blur effects, but the most realistic looking and overall best one is probably Pixel Motion Blur. This effect makes videos shot at a high shutter speed look smooth. Another reason to use it is for time-lapse shots that were captured over a long period of time with a long pause between each photo. Those time-lapses often have a stutter look, so it makes sense to use a motion blur effect like this one. The speed, or in this case the shutter angle, can be set manually to have full control over the blur and the look of the video. If you need to blur a video and you want it to look like it's actually shot out of focus with a nice round bouquet, the camera lens blur is the ideal effect. By setting keyframes, a realistic looking focus pull can be created, just like when shooting with a DSLR. Compared to other blurs, like the fast blur, this effect takes some time to render, but the look is amazing and very realistic. A simple way to create a fake camera shake in post is the wiggle effect. This effect will move the video around so it looks like somebody actually filmed handheld even though it was just a locked off tripod shot. The speed and amount of shakiness can be adjusted manually. To create a more realistic camera movement and to avoid that all shots have the same kind of shakiness, it's useful to change the speed and amount of movement by using keyframes. For example, at the beginning of the shot, a fast shake followed by slower ones. These might not be the coolest and most special effects, and certainly there are a lot of other great effects and tools in After Effects, but we think that these are some of the most useful ones, which we also work with on a daily basis in our projects.